Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah Barakato. Kala Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Kala Yahweh. One Yahweh. One. It is camo. Con. 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 Check it. Get. Awkward. Rhymes that are flown to you, baptized. Pick up the cross, scale my life. I ain't even ducking in a gunfight. Babylon's falling, that's right. Fight chariot, flame in the eyes. Hanky black man in a black sky, chest in the bad guys, slaving the chest eyes. Give me how a shot. Yup, that's Christ, huh? This place polluted and looted. Yes, I rebuke it, remove it, remove it. Excuses are useless. This movement is moving. These angels are shooting, but no, not a Cupid. I am an Israelite, I am not Jewish. Kingdom we build it, Cupid by Cupid. Song like a psalm. This is a prayer, not just some music. We need retribution, huh? How will get my life on? Nation. Uh, how will expose all the fake ones? Uh, how will blaze a fire on Satan? Uh, Cause you're how it from day one? Uh, More like a lion, I will not run. Go get your gun, I'm about that action. Get my power and orders from the highest one, father and son. Con, 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 yeah. All right. Look, I walk up in the spot straight dolly. Everything I do stay low key. Uh, niggas shooting niggas like the police. Uh, but they scared to read a book, nigga OG. Uh, I'm not a pawn, I'm a god. Move without checkerboards, not a Mason. Uh, keeping it fake while they keeping it dumb. Just came back and tell how they check on my son. Whoa, ZZ's almost to the floor. SPLC want me Rex 84. MK that soldier, let's settle the score. I'm repping my nation till I'm in the floor. Whoa, I was one sick and I got cured. Uh, Track with my other one awkward. Uh, These niggas in the truth real awkward. Uh, Trying to get a name instead of prosper. Uh, uh, this a family, not a group. Con, uh, niggas flee room. Rebuke, con. This a walk far from a religion. The white man, the real son of perdition. Uh, Cooking verses like I'm up in the kitchen. You ain't the sheep, so you can't see the vision. Uh, Pop an itch, that's gonna get you a visit. And when it does, don't speak like you was kidding. Con, 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 Side of downfall of this kingdom and show them that the most I ain't rocking with for 4th of July and any other than these pagan ass holidays that they got out here, man. Read what you got, brother. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 20. Huh? Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. Now, what's an ambassador, man? It's someone that represents something. we ambassadors for Mashiach Yahawashai, who y'all ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Read on. As though God did beseech you by us, God. we pray you in Christ's need. Be ye reconciled to God. That's what we ought to do, man. We're trying to work out, reconcile our people back to this truth. We're trying to reform them back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Because right now, the Most High ain't dealing with us. Especially when we're going to be out here celebrating these damn pagan ass holidays. Read what you got, brother. Angles chapter 5 verse 21. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a question for y'all. I know there ain't nobody around, but I still got a question for Israel, man. Does the most high hate the 4th of July? Do we like it? Let's find that out, man. Read, brother. Amos chapter 5 verse 21. I hate. I despise your feast day. No, he said, he said what? I hate. I despise your feast day. So we love 4th of July. I despise your feast days. So we say he despises our feast days, man. So keep, keep reading, brother. And I will not smell in uh, your Solomon assemblies. So we said I'm not. I, I will not even smell your solemn uh, your solemn assemblies. What's going on on Fourth of July? What are people cooking? What are our people cooking? They cooking pork. <laughs> That's something that the Most High despises. That's in Leviticus 11, man. We shouldn't eat the swine's flesh. You know what I'm saying? So he despises that. Despises it. You got any more on that? 
give me uh, Isaiah 66 and 11 before we can sit. Yeah, man, he despises that so much that when he come back, he gonna deal with y'all that's still eating that swine's flesh. But you don't gotta believe me, man. Believe it out the Bible, man. It's just high time our people wake up, man. We always gotta follow these damn heathen. If we follow them off a cliff, we'll follow them off a damn cliff, man. That's how, that's how gung-ho our people are, man, for these damn devils, man. 66 and, uh, Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. He gonna come with what? Fire. He, he gonna come with no damn peace sign and no damn rainbow. Okay? He gonna come with fire. Green. And with his chariot, like the whirlwind. Render his anger with fury. He's gonna render his anger with fury. Why? Because we ain't doing what he's supposed to be doing. We walking around here doing anything, man. Keep reading. And his rebuke with flame. Huh? A fight with and his rebuke with flames of fire. He said, hey brother, the Lord's coming back with rebuke of flames of fire. And the reason why he is is because we're not out here doing what he's supposed to be doing. You understand? Hey, brother, come in, let me talk to you. All right, all right, all right, all right. See how people don't want to talk. We in a hurry. When the Most High come back with these rebukes and flames of fire, then, then, then what? Is the Most High going to have time for you then? Is the Most High going to have time for you then? When, you, when your skin burning up? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So our people got to wake up, man. Keep on reading. Verse 16. Uh -huh. For by the fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. He gonna plead with everybody. He gonna plead with all flesh. He gonna plead with the people that don't want to talk to him. He ain't gonna plead with them. He still gonna plead with them. Okay, keep reading. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. The slain of the Lord gonna be many, man. Many gonna die. Read. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden behind one tree. In the midst, eating swine's flesh. Eating what? Swine's flesh. And that's what we're doing right now, man. We're going to be packing up them damn grills and cooking that swine. Not knowing that that's bad for us, man. Not knowing that the Most High hates that and he hates our feast days, man. Give me what you got. Uh, give me um, Exodus 34 and 14. Exodus chapter 34 and verse 14. When thou shalt worship, no other God. So he said that thou shalt not worship no other God. But why am I bringing that up? Because 4th of July, that's celebrating the white man and his independence from Britain. We were still in chains. Hell, they, uh, Britain was like, yo, if you fight for us, we'll bring you back and then you won't got to be slaves no more. Shit, if I was back then, I probably would have fought on a side. Shit. But man, this is about they holiday. We worship in the white man holiday, man. And that's idolatry. Keep reading. For the Lord, whose name is jealous. He said his name is jealous. Why is he jealous? Because he did all those things for you. He brought you out of Egypt. He rose, he split the Red Sea. You brought on locusts. Confounded Pharaoh, killed off all the firstborn. He did all those things for you, Israel, and you're gonna go behind his back. You're gonna go behind his back and act like a hoe. You're gonna be cheating on him. Cheating on him with this day of 4th of July. And there's death that's gonna come. Last year, oh, how many, like 15 deaths? 64 people wounded on 4th of July? And just this Juneteenth, we had about, man, I don't even know the number, like maybe five died. It's like 70, 70 something hurt, wounded. Man, do you think that's by coincidence? And it happened on a weekend, which is the Most High Shabbat, which we're supposed to be keeping holy? Come on, man. It's time for our people to wake the hell up, man. It's time for us to wake the hell up and get the hell up out of this America with their system, with their religions, with their doctrine. With they holidays, with they, with they holiday, it ain't even a holiday. I won't even give it that justice, man. It's 
a hell of a day. You got any more on that? Is that be it? Let me get a... Uh, give me a uh, Mark 7 and 7. And then, let me get Matthew 15 and 3. Yeah, man, because this is what we do. We in this culture where we exalt ourselves. In the scriptures it said that the Most High will exalt a righteous nation. But being selfish, being wicked as hell, he ain't exalting that. That's why we are what we're supposed to be at the damn bottom. Just be acting like it, man. We, we ain't ready to take over this world yet. Read what you got, brother. This is the book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 7. Yeah. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines, commandments of men. So teaching the doctrines, the commandments of men. What's the commandment of men? Celebrating this 4th of July. What did the white man give you, man? He gave you the damn projects. Matter of fact, he gave them to the white people first. You had to beg to get into the damn projects. <laughs> then those damn devils did the new deal. They built the suburbs for them. But they didn't build them for you. After all the white folks got out of the projects, you filled up those projects, then the banks called it the slums. Now we got slum lords. That's what they give you. They give you homosexuality too. They give you abortion. Man, gave you that damn self want to take pictures so you can be idolatrous of your own self. Gave you only fans too, so you can be a damn porn star. Be a super freak. My oh, people better wake the hell up, man. Traditions of men, weak men, men that ain't got no power. No. Jacob wrestled an angel for that name. That's power. Mm. Our people don't know who they are, man. Give, give me Isaiah, man. Oh, wait, what you got? No, oh, my bad, Matthew 5 and 3. So long, so long. This is what Christ is talking about right here, too. Give it to him. Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? Why are you transgressing the commandment of God? That's coming out of Christ's mouth. We got feast days. We got holy days. We got the Passover. We just did first fruits. Where you got to bring the first of your fruit, the first of your agriculture back to the Most High. But since we ain't in that day, we present ourselves as a sacrifice. But what we gonna be doing on 4th of July anyway, brother? What we gonna be doing? Just smoking, drinking, getting fucked up, popping a little pill, getting ballsy enough to shoot somebody up, wet somebody up, huh? We ain't coming back to give honor and thanks to the most high, man. This 4th of July, man, it's, it's over with, man. Watch. Watch, watch, it's gonna be a bloody weekend, man. Cause we ain't gonna come back. We ain't coming back. We don't wanna come back. But in that day, he gonna plead with all flesh and you're gonna be begging to come back. It ain't gonna happen. So that's why we out here waking you up. We ain't playing no games out here, man. Around eight, seven o'clock, they ain't gonna be playing no games either. People gonna be pop, 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 pop. It ain't gonna be firecrackers, neither. Give me uh, Proverbs 23 and 17. And then, uh, brother, give me uh, uh, Romans 10, uh, 2. Yeah, man, because, listen, man, y'all might not wanna go out. Y'all might wanna stay in the crib, but there's gonna be one of your friends that wanna drag you out. Yeah, Proverbs, uh, God. Yeah, but it's gonna be your friend that's gonna be dragging you out to come out. Come on, out. Come on, out. Let's go out, man. Fourth of July party, man. There's gonna be shorties over there. Ooh, ooh, watch the bear, watch the bear. What happened? Sis, the, this, you know that the most high despises you today. And it's not a lawful day to go out. Man, something bad might happen to you. I know which death on no man. Woman or child. But we always put ourselves in a harm's way. The most high, he created evil and good, okay? He's the king of terror, okay? If you disobey, 
his commandments, some something terrible might might happen to you. So you might go out that night and get shot up, get something, get robbed. Get something, man. Something bad, bad might happen to you. Get that from me, brother. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 17. What's going on, brother? Verse 17. Let not thy heart in be sinners. So don't let your heart in be sinners. People gonna be out here eating that swine, having a good time on this holiday weekend. But don't be empty until they fun. Because it might end up in the castle. It might end up in the castle. You might end up in a wheelchair. You might end up in the back of a police station. On the bottom of the police station. You know how they do us. Come on, man. It's time for our people to wake the hell up. What's going on, brother? You got his headphones in? Man, I'm telling you, man. Our people got to wake up. Give me that. Uh, Romans 10. Romans chapter 10, verse 2. Why bear them record that they have a zeal of God. They got a zeal. They got an understanding. I mean, well, they got a zeal. They got a spiritual connection. They know that, that the Heavenly Father is made and built for them. They know that they got a connection to him. But what? But not according to knowledge. But not according to knowledge. So if you got a zeal, uh, we've got a lot of good brothers and sisters that's in the church doing their thing, but they still going out eating the swine and celebrating these holidays. Hell, I bet you the pastor going to be celebrating it on Sunday. That's the damn Christian church stream. Fourth of July on a Sunday. Don't know where they got to leave. It's just going to be sin on top of sin on top of sin up in that joint. Damn, man. Crazy, crazy, man. Craziness, man. Give me, um, give me, um, I, uh, Ezekiel, uh, 26, 22 and, uh, 26. Give me Ezekiel 22 and 26. And then, uh, give me, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Ezekiel. Chapter 22, verse 26. Let well, them know something about these pastors, man. Let well, them know something. Her priests have violated. Violated what? No. Priests have violated the law. See what I'm saying? You ain't the only ones that got law. My God got law. Yeah, how our power got law. And have profaned my holy things. Profane the holy things, man. They have. They have. There's no difference between the holy and profane. So they don't put no difference between the Passover, which they don't celebrate, and the 4th of July. You gotta tell our people in these churches what they should be worshiping and celebrating and what they shouldn't be. Because as we just read, he's a jealous God. And his name is jealous. And he hates when we do our own thing. He hates when we do our own thing. Continue. Neither have they shoes different between the clean and unclean. The clean and the unclean. We can get it in Leviticus 11. We can get it right now. The the pig, the swine, is unclean to you. But how many of that heard you? From? How many of y'all heard that from the past? How many of y'all that heard that, man? Come on, man. Read. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. Right. So y'all go to church on Sunday. The Sabbath is Saturday. We're supposed to have service on Saturday, right? At least it's Friday sundown, Friday, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Sabbath. But we can start, we can do baby steps. Baby steps, man. Let's, let's go, let's go on Saturday. But we do Sunday, and the root word of Sunday is sun. So we still worship in like pagans, man. Still, we can't get out of it. We are an idolatrous nation, man. We are an idolatrous nation, man. There's gonna be hell to pay for that, man. And we see that week in and week out in the streets of Chicago. You got any more? I am profane among them. Right, he's profane among us, man. He don't like it, man. That's why all this all these bad things is happening to our people, man. That's why all these wicked ass pastors is is getting is getting judged too. Is getting judged too. Whether they die of an untimely death or they get thrown in jail for child trafficking. Yeah, I said it. They do that. 
Yeah, I said, especially them damn Catholic priests. Touch them little boys. See me, uh, hold that. Yeah, 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 hold that.